Hello, my name is Dodie, and this is my true story. Well, this story in particular is kind of the start of many miracles in the rest of, for the rest of my life. Um, my late husband was in a severe construction accident, fell two stories on his head on concrete, uh, was comatose in the hospital. Um, he had been there for quite some time. I had received a phone call from my insurance agent, who I had a business relationship with only, and he had found out that my husband had been severely injured. And um, so he asked me if, if he could pray with me on the phone. And I grew up in a very religious church, uh, not so much personal relationship with Jesus Christ, so I wasn't used to praying with somebody out loud or praying on the phone with somebody, let alone my insurance agent. So I said, okay, uh, sure. And so one of the things that I asked him to pray for was that Jim would be able to speak again. And so far, being in the hospital probably a couple months, hadn't heard a word come out of him. This was... Um, on Valentine's Day. <laughs> so um, I hung up the phone and I went straight to the hospital and I walked into the room and he said in a very speech impairment voice, but there was a voice there, Happy Valentine's Day, I love you. And um, I was like, wow, what church did, does this man go to that he prayed this, these awesome prayers? And it was when he was praying with me, I just got, I had chills. Like, I had chills everywhere. I was like, okay, what is this? Well, me knowing now that that was the Holy Spirit and, and that uh, he was gonna answer, God was gonna answer those prayers, and he did. And so that was the beginning of, of the miracles with this accident. Eventually, um, Jim did get to come home, and he, this was, oh, after close to six months at the hospital. And so my, uh, I had to be trained to bring Jim home to take care of him, because literally it was 24-hour um, care, pretty much. We also had therapists that came into the home, so we kind of had a revolving door for eight hours a day for a long time. So about two years into the accident, um, Jim had a heart attack, and we had worked so hard to get him to be close to where he was. We were still a ways away, but I called 911, and the next thing you know, there I am in the hospital again, sitting there by myself. Jim is comatose again, this time medically induced. And it was three o'clock in the morning, and I'm sitting there shaking. It's like, God, we worked so hard for him to not die. What are your plans? I need to know, because I'm shaking to death, and I don't want to lose my husband. You need to tell me. I was kind of angry that this happened. And uh, Jim, who could barely still even sit up in a wheelchair, and was comatose, sat straight up in the bed, and I'm staring at him, and he said, 
God said, I have more souls to save. Went back, laid back down, and was completely back into that comatose state. So I looked around the room, shocked, because I felt like I had just gotten an out loud answer from God. I said, okay, all right, then I'm gonna quit shaking and it's all good. And um, I, I brought Jim home. He was okay and he continued to get better. His voice, his speech impairment got to the point where others completely understood him. He became a speaker in men's ministry at the church. And he was a man that kind of was a bit of an icon. He, he would usher through his, for uh, the church in his uh, wheelchair, his electric wheelchair. And he got a driver's license in, he was able to drive himself to men's ministry, which was before church every Sunday. He was the first one there. And he would throw donuts at the guys, anybody who was ever late. There was no excuse for them being late. But he brought so many men's heart to the Lord. It was amazing. And um, he went on to live two and a half years later. Um, he was out in our driveway and a trash truck came along and put the trash truck in reverse and ran him over. And he had a broken femur. He was supposed to be baptized. This was on a Tuesday that this happened, Tuesday morning. And he was actually supposed to be baptized and they found a pool that they could um, put him in, a handicap pool. And the men's ministry was going to baptize him that Wednesday. Well, they all came to the church. The church was just filled with people from the church. And the men's ministry said to him, they were in his room, what can we pray for you for, brother? He was so mangled up and crippled up anyway. And he says, you know what? I need a new body. Can you pray for a new body? <laughs> They said, we will do that. And he died the next day. So God gave him a new body in heaven. No broken bones, no speech impairment. He could use both hands. And um, it was tough for me. I had three kids. I was just beside myself, mourning really bad. And I was just worried, where are you? No, I need to know, God, I need to know he's okay. I need to know where he is. Well, I'm guessing I was asleep. I don't know, I felt like I was in heaven's realm. And I just saw before me Jesus Christ with his God arms around my husband. And you could see the little, <laughs> balding spot in his head and everything. It was so detailed. And I woke up and I was so comforted by that because I knew where he was. And I, I just thank God that he showed me, this is where your husband is and he's fine. He's in my arms. Well, the next day I had a very good friend who helped me out. With, was helping me with the whole situation in the funeral. But she came knocking on my door, unexpected, and uh, she had this package in her hand. It was wrapped in brown paper. And she said, I bought you a gift. So I opened up the gift, and there is this same scene that God showed me the night before in this picture. I couldn't even believe it. I looked at her and I said, where did you get that? And she thought I didn't like the picture or something. She said, the Bible bookstore, is it okay? I said, it's fantastic. And then I told her the story of what God showed me that night. 
And then she brought this picture to confirm for me that what I saw was real. That was just amazing to me. That was just absolutely amazing. I couldn't believe it.